everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am officially taking the kids on a solo camping trip this week. I'm taking Miles and Violet. Watch my last vlog, you'll, you'll understand why I'm not taking Alistair. It was purely his choice, he's staying with his dad. And um, yeah, I've been up since like six this morning, just, you know, trying to get organized, get the car packed up, got a roof box on. Um, yeah, it's running smoothly so far. The only downside is that it's decided to rain this morning and um, it's the last thing you want really, really camping. But to be fair, it's only supposed to be raining this morning and from midday it's supposed to be absolutely fine even when we go off to Devon. Um, so yeah, I'm just making my coffee. The last thing I'm packing is the frozen stuff, as in like milk and I basically froze milk in like the pint form which is what we did for camp festival it lasted a good like two three days which is great um obviously i can buy and replenish but generally i won't be having any specific fridge like a proper hookup fridge so um yeah that's the last thing i need to pack but pretty much the car is ready to go um yeah all is well i hope you're having a good summer holidays i am just like <laughs> I'm a little bit kind of anxious, as you can imagine, just because I suppose it's the realization of actually going away on my own with the kids. It's weird because like 10 years ago when I did it with Alistair and Violet, like I used to take them away all the time. We used to go to Isle of Wight, we used to just like go all sorts of places. And I don't know if it's like, it's an age thing. I feel like when I was 25, when I was in my early 20s, I just had no fear, I could do anything. And I felt really confident to do anything. And for some reason, since hitting my 30s, I just have like this anxiety. I just have this fear of everything. Like not just like necessarily traveling, going out with the kids. I just have a fear of just the basic stuff. Even like down to like roller coasters and stuff. I am all, have always been a general junkie. I've always loved roller coasters. And now I worry and I actually don't enjoy going on roller coasters much anymore. I do it, but I don't really enjoy it. Um, it's so weird, isn't it? How you change as you get older. You overthink everything. I think that's the thing. My sensible head has come out far more now I'm older. And when I was young, just like very flippant with what I did and was just like, yeah. Um, which is a great way to live, to be perfectly honest, because... I was just, like I said, I was just really confident in my 20s. I've got these ice packs. These are actually in my, ice, in my uh, big thermos bag thing that I've got, but I'm actually not going to take it. I'm just going to take this little mini cooler because um, I just found it's quite useful last time and I'm not plan. I've, obviously, there's only me as an adult to carry a backpack, so I've just got my standard backpack with me. But these ice walls are brilliant. They, they actually stay frozen for about two-ish, three days. Here's my milk. So I'll freeze the water as well because again it doesn't take long to defrost a couple of days. Um it just keeps everything nice and cool together. Right, we've had our first pit stop. We've just come to the door. We honestly it's taken an hour and a half to get to Dorchester, which technically it's only taken an hour, but it's been it's it is manic here, it's manic Hi, on the road. I've got this. Miles got a cheeseburger, he got a happy meal, of course. Finally got her usual Corp Panda. Or a wrap, my usual. But yeah, we're just having a little bit of a breather, a bit of a reset because it's just been quite manic on the roads. And I'm hungry. But yeah, we're we're barely barely halfway to be perfectly honest, so yeah. So, as you can see, we've officially arrived, set up camp for the night. I think this is a five metre bell tent. Um, yeah, perfect for us. I brought some bits down from the car, but the reason why we couldn't bring the car up, which is what you can usually do, I think we might be able to bring it up tomorrow, is that the ground's quite wet. What? But, um, yeah. So, here. Miles is eating a pot noodle. He originally wanted um, the mug shot, but he didn't like it, so I'm having it. Um, nice. 
So there's one bell tent there, and there's one there. So we're kind of like in the middle, there's only three. And then that field is the, where the showers and toilets are, but also where the pitch up, so like people with tents and stuff pitch up. But um, yeah, how peaceful. It's just like so peaceful. No one's actually in that one, and then the ones the other side have just gone out. Um, we've had to put our car over there, but you can actually usually drive in and park it next to it. But it's because of this, it's a bit down. The ground's a bit soft. Why do you keep talking it in yours? It's funny. It's nice, isn't it? Put your jumper on. You're warm enough. Calling this now, look. Is it? Look. I've got my new book. I've picked up some books from the car boot sale yesterday. Went to the car boot sale, didn't we, Miles? Got some absolute bargains. Where is that one? P. Where is that one? It's called You Were God. Mom. I'm just waiting for the sun to go down. It's cloudy, cloudy sun. You want the sun to go down? Yeah. No, it'll be bedtime, won't it? The sun is not going well, down it's yet. Snug and rug and a rug. What? Time for a movie. I love this movie ever. Best movie ever. We say that to every movie now. Oh. Good morning, day two. Goodbye. Of camping. Goodbye. Um, just, I've just been tidying up. It's been a bit chaotic in here. The kids have had showers this morning. Miles was up about 7-ish, 7.30, which is quite nice. Didn't sleep the best though, did you, bye? Miles just, he's a kicker. He's, he makes up so much room and he's a proper kicker. So, um, yeah, we've just been sorting ourselves out, really, heading out for the day. Looks like a good day. As always, I forgot that I was filming today. So we've actually been here for about half an hour, but we've just got to the big sheep. I already pre-booked the tickets and, um, Oh my god, it's such a gorgeous day and it's a really, really nice place. There's loads of stuff here. Loads of like sheep shows and um, sheep feeding. The kids are actually, um, I'll show you. They're on this massive inflatable thing. And this is like with the older ones. Obviously you've seen there's nobody on it. There's, a, there's one next door over there, which is like slightly smaller um, for like five and unders. But obviously there's nobody on this one. So Miles is on it. And as you can see, it's gorgeous. There's a um, Asda on the way here and um, I picked up some meal deals, we've got sandwiches, crisps and drinks, just for lunch today, just easy. Just waiting for the duck trial. These things are called ears, we need to use Yeah, we can probably do the Seaweeds, I suppose. 
something. <laughs> right, we're back. Um, I'm starting to cook dinner. So I said to the kids, did they want to eat there because they've got actually a really nice pub right on the quay. But they were just like, no, I want to get back. My house is quite wet. So I'm just basically using up what we've got in the minute that I need to That's use. Some beans. Yep, you've got to wait, it's not ready. Um, so I've got stuff to use up before it kind of goes off because obviously I haven't got a fridge so everything's been frozen with everything. Um, so we've got bacon on the go, we've got a tin of mac and cheese, tin of beans with sausages and I'm doing some scrambled eggs. So I've got like a little conveyor belt going in a minute. This is the bacon. And then we've got these to go on. That's it. Egg cracking. Oh, that's it. Try and get it in the pan, Miles. I'm doing a second round of bacon. Eggs need to go on. And then I've got my tin beans and sausages. I'm eating all the cookies. Um... Blooming glorious. It is six o'clock. Where's the time? Where's the day going? Honestly, we got out at like 10 o'clock this morning. Kids are partially playing, partially whinging. I've got my gin tonic. This is black rice. Really nice. Just enjoying the sun. Oh, this is what Miles got from the shop, from the uh, big sheep. A platypus. Right, skincare time been getting our faces clean. I actually bought I actually bought wipes this time which I didn't bring for Camp Best School and I don't know why. It's just so much easier. But I did bring my usual I've got minis of my the uh, Aurelio London moisturizer the day and night. I've also got the erotic concentrate as well. So and this actually I use this I think this is from Home Bargains Banana Shampoo and Conditioning Bar this was actually really good I used this during Camp Festival and it was so it foamed really really well this is our setup now I can't remember if I showed you it's like a little shoe area, shoe area. and then we've got the bed I put the bed that way instead of this way I don't know why but our heads go that way Jackery and then yeah, I've just been kind of sorting out some bits of washing to do. we do that tomorrow. I've just kind of let it soak. I don't know if I'll give you an overview. Obviously, I bought the trolley overview of the actual tents. I can't remember. But there's only three bell tents. There's, only, there's a couple with two kids in that one. They've obviously gone out for the day. And then that one's not in use. There was some people in there yesterday. I think we may have stayed one night. Um... But yeah, it's pretty empty. And basically you go, we've had to park out there because I don't know if you can see the tracks are quite bad. So when it was wet, they didn't really want you out here. But she said, she came round and she actually said that we can park up and load our stuff in tomorrow, which is going to be so much easier than dragging it all through the gate. But I've literally just parked there. If you can see just behind the gate. But um, yeah, behind the hedge is where the toilets and showers in is. So it isn't overly close, which is a shame. They, I feel like they should have their own to toilet block. What are you doing? <laughs> should have their own toilet block, really. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think this is quite a new establishment. They're only putting three bell tents out at the minute. I think, um, yeah, they're probably... They might expand, you never know. But I think it's quite new at the moment. But I found them on Pitch Up. Um, but, yeah, I think it was about £40 a night, which I think is pretty good. I mean, the fact that you don't even... I know it's not no electric, but you don't actually have to worry about putting a tent up for me it's just a must really so yeah you got all this space around you gorgeous feels like home honestly it feels like you know it's really peaceful I missed it on camera oh my god it was so funny Miles moved over getting all grumpy because Violet wanted to share his blanket and he literally fell over <laughs> it was funny. so funny I do it again go on then I'm not one to hurt myself. No, hurt you. you're not going to hurt yourself, are you? It's grass. Oh. oh. <laughs> 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 
I'm loving this book, by the way. It's good. I'm glad it's been reading that one that I got from Tubby. On the popcorn. Yeah. Mars has more space because yeah, I have. He's a kicker. No, it's because at the moment he's watching Paw Patrol. And I'm just gonna let him do that until he winds down a little bit, and then we like to worms, aren't we, Vi? I'm gonna do sleeping bag tonight. We're oh, a single really? one, and he's gonna have the double one because he just moves far too much. <gasps> yeah, it's getting cold. Sun's just going down. <sighs> I'm ready for another day tomorrow, everybody. Gotta go off to North Cornwall tomorrow.